but can you give us details, like I guess some details about the new space in California and this expansion of the localhost brand? Sure. You know, so you know, kind of just to start with localhost uh, and entire and the entire nursery portfolio. Really, we focus on three tenets: uh, access, integrity, and opportunity. Uh, access. You know, right now esports has uh, an ac an accessibility problem. It's expensive to compete. It's expensive to produce tournaments mm -hmm. and events. And we're lowering that barrier by creating this infrastructure and scaling it across the country so that more and more people can take advantage of that. And the other thing about playing on LAN is the integrity component. You know, you are all playing face to face. If you're talking trash, you're talking trash face-to-face, -face. Mm -hmm. you're playing on the same equipment, you're playing on the same network, nobody's going to have a hardware advantage when you play in person at one of these mm -hmm. facilities. And lastly, opportunity, you know, really we want to give the same type of competitive opportunities to gamers that traditional sports athletes have, college scholarships, professional opportunities, business networking opportunities, the opportunity to build a, you know, the relationships you build your life on. So that's why we created, you know, everything that we do here at Nerd Street Gamers and the local host expansion out west is, you know, a natural progression of that. We built here in Philadelphia in 2017. We built our arena in Denver uh, last December. Uh, and now Huntington Beach, we, we finally reached coast to coast and can kind of provide that uh, nationwide activation capability. Yeah, and like what you're saying, you know, the face-to-face -face competition, and even the trash talking can build that sense of community. So uh, how does Nerd Street Gamers plan to replicate that atmosphere found in Philly? And how will those looking for opportunities in esports benefit from this? Yeah, so, you know, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is we don't come into a new city and tell everybody what to do. We don't show up and say, hey, we're here, do what we say. Um, we're really here to empower the communities that exist, and we pick these cities because of their kind of storied and historied careers, uh, you know, in game, in the gaming community. So when we show up in somewhere like Huntington Beach, the first thing we do is find the local operators that have been, you know, operating events, that have been running out of places that may, might not have had the scale of hardware that we have, and we empower them with the equipment and bring them in. So we've already spoken to a number of operators that are going to be really kicking off as soon as we launch uh, with the same type of local competitive opportunities that we have here in Philadelphia. And then to provide kind of a national spotlight, it connects into our national championship series where these events happening in Huntington Beach and events happening all across the country in both our facilities and other facilities uh, feed upwards towards our national championships at the end of the year, giving you a chance to take your talent and put it in front of colleges and professional organizations. Awesome. Since you guys work with the Philly Fusion, are there any plans to reach out to the Overwatch team based in LA by any chance? Well, absolutely. So, you know, about a month or two ago, we announced our Overwatch license for the National Championship Series that we, you know, uh, we officially support the Overwatch uh, community. We have absolutely planned to reach out and activate in the same way we have with the Fusion. Really is to, to, to every team that wants us, you know, we're, we're here to empower them with localized event opportunities to give them the infrastructure they need to reach their local communities and empower them with the same kind of awesome events that we've had in Philadelphia for the Fusion. And with this expansion, can you tell us what the future of the National Championship Series looks like now that, you know, you guys have a home on the West Coast? Should we expect rivalries between these local hosts to spring up at some point? Well, you know, so the National Championship Series is almost like your PGA Tour. It's a collection of tournaments all feeding towards a, you know, a, a, a national championship. So there's not so much of that regional kind of competitive feel that you see. My hope in the future is that we have, a, you know, enough teams and enough competitors that that's where we start to feel those regional rivalries and regional sections. But, you know, right now, a, a lot of the teams will compete at multiple locations and show up all across the country for these competitions because, it, you know, really, if you're an amateur team, you're hungry for this type mm -hmm. of opportunity to showcase your talent. Awesome. I mean, you know, that sounds like an incredible venture. I wish you guys the best of luck in this. I think this is something that is going to take the next step for esports, especially to mm -hmm. bring both coasts together. Since Nerd Street is so prominent on the East Coast, going to the West Coast is probably the next best decision for you. But thank you so much for stopping by and introducing us to the new facility. Hopefully we'll get to see you more, maybe the facility as well in the future. Thank you. I appreciate it. I just want to give a shout out to Olt, you know, the facility out there in Huntington Beach mm -hmm. that we've partnered with. JB and the guys over at Olt are incredible. They have a really amazing lifestyle and merch brand, and we'll be working with them to kind of take advantage of both our infrastructure and their brand and their lifestyle components to produce really cool events. So uh, stay, stay tuned. Thank you so much. We'll definitely will. Thank you very much. Thank you.